we're ready? Okay, then I say bring on the hype for Mega Man ZX. So yeah, tape is not here. It's just gonna be me. Uh, male or female. Oh, but tape is always here in spirit, right? It is uh, still the female. There have been no $40 snipes. Okay. Go ale. Yep. You can't see it. Uh, I told them not to capture the second screen. You just have to believe me when I pick. Where's the screen? What? Where's the one screen? No, no, it's top screen. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I'm just picking the character on the other screen. Okay. <laughs> uh, whenever. You give us the counter. Okay, three, two, one, go. I can't hear the sound, that's really bad. I need the sound, if you can fix it. Oh, I can hear it lower. Uh. That's not the sound. I need a sound. <laughs> In-game audio, please. <laughs> Joker, you can do it without sound. This is the nope. opposite of blindfolded. <laughs> no. Come on! He has sound cues in this game, right? Yep. It's fine for the first four missions. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so this is the intro stage boss. Uh, it's not very hard. Uh, it's You can manipulate it a little bit and kill it faster. Uh, basically the game starts out pretty slow with four intro missions, uh, after which you get uh, ZX armor, or what I call armor. It's not really an armor, but uh, and then the real missions start with like the robot masters and such. Yeah, so the, there's not really much going on in these first four missions. Uh, basically, just <laughs> running around talking to people. You're essentially just searching for people who are kind of missing, uh, talking to them, sends them back to base so you can continue on with the real game. Yep. And as for a few of them, you can't be in the X form because then you appear violent. Um, there are some guards running around town, like machine guards, that react if you run around in the armor, for example. But for the most part of the game, you use all the forms, especially ZX and, and, and HX. HX, which is the form of Harpuya if you played the previous game Mega Man Zero. Um, because that form allows you to air dash a lot. Here, I can't even be close to this guy in armor he will just run away so i need to switch a little bit earlier there yeah, that guy is really scared of the <laughs> security system uh the security guards which are met or met tools from the classic games oh, that's you have the car from <laughs> Mega Man battle and chase sorry tampa <laughs> sardini i was going to say that we got a donation from tape Ooh. $4 is saying, go Joker, go Joker, all $4 the best motion. come on, take. <laughs> you yeah, can't thank you. <laughs> Donate for every level 4 I get, tape. And we also have $1 from an anonymous person. Took see the guy, why would he not dance for the doctors?
Oh, perfect. Nice. Got sound. No, I, <laughs> yeah, not, nothing in the game actually happened. <laughs> Uh, so now I have actually have to shoot some people. <laughs> yeah, if you've played Mega Man X1, the first X game, you'll recognize this stage a bit later on. <laughs> you'll recognize it if you've played like... Yeah, X1, you saw that. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Don't spoil it. Uh, coming up is a really interesting boss. <laughs> Not really. It's like extremely hard. Yeah, it took the whole tech crew just to design this guy. It takes four hits. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the boss is pretty self-explanatory. Exploding <laughs> boxes fly up in the sky and hit the boss. Since you can't reach up there with any of your uh, buster shots, this is the only way to kill the boss. Okay, so now they call me to the, their base and they want to talk to me. Done stuff that's good, apparently. <laughs> so this is like my home base now. Uh, the, the game is open world-ish. So you actually have to get to every stage yourself. Or warp, if you have been there. Yeah, you can teleport to certain places on the map. This is the last uh, intro mission. This stage made me really happy when I played this game. It's a huge fan of MMX. Uh, I'm grabbing one life up. It's actually in the route. It's not just a marathon safety strat. Uh, it will allow me to do some more tanky strats on, uh, on the later bosses. More tanky, meaning I take more damage when I do that. Oh, hey! This looks I know familiar. This. <laughs> Same, similar strat. Luckily, you had the charge buster here. Yeah, the charge buster. No, no need to mash that. Time. Yeah, the charge buster actually works really well for this. Unlike an X1, where the charge shot does about the same thing as a regular buster shot, because the B doesn't move. In this game, the B moves a lot forward, depending on how much damage you do. This entire section is just X1. <laughs> And this, yeah, I explain after. Okay. As you can see, this guy has the form of zero in so many ways. And now I have the armor. <laughs> Hooray! And there's a big cutscene, but I skipped it. <laughs> it takes forever. Uh, yeah, so most of the bosses in this game you can manipulate really well. Uh, there's not really RNG dependent, you just react to what you do. Okay, so now for the first real mission. First robot master, if you will. 
Maverick. <laughs> what what are you called? It's called like pseudoroids or something in this. Oh yeah. But it's it's eight of them, so I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially the same thing. Uh, but you don't get eight different weapons. You only get four different weapons slash armors. You get uh, two parts of each. So essentially all forms have similar abilities, which is always a dash and a ways of attack. And the other forms besides ZX has like an aura they can put on so they can use special ability so they can activate their special ability. Uh, they all have kinda different special abilities when that's on. And all of the other forms are forms of the Four Guardians from the Zero series, uh, Harpuya, Fefnir, Leviathan, and Phantom. Shout out to that boss spider reference in the background. <laughs> Take too much damage here. Uh, when you do take this? quite a lot of damage from those, like yeah. necessary. And don't get trolled by the last one because if you push the button, it goes the other way. Oh yeah, and while he's while while climbing, he's slashing because for some reason in this game, each time you slash, you you get pushed closer to the wall, oh, yeah. so you can re-grab it faster. It's actually even faster than dash climbing with uh, the HX armor. Yeah, so it's oh, no. That's oh. not gonna work. <laughs> you make that, right? In that normal run, if you don't mess uh, up anyway. Yeah. Okay, so this boss is very interesting. He looks angry. Oh, wow. Yeah, a special thing that they brought back from somewhat. Oop, chip. Uh, the zero zero is, is that you can combo in this game with the sword. So like you, when you jump slash for example, oh, you're in what the hell? The the spin slash does multiple damage, uh, and when you slash a boss with the st normal round uh, three hit combo, it actually combos, so you don't get so it, it ignores the invincibility frames of the, the boss within after the first two ones, but the third one. The boss gets full invisibility yeah. again, and that works the same with the jump flash, and apparently the charge flash as well, which uh, I did not know. Yeah, about. I wasn't aware of that until very recently. Uh, hold on. Uh, if you if you wiggle while you're in air uh, with a charge flash, or you release a charge flash, you can hit him multiple times. I don't think it's intended, <laughs> but it's nice. It's just the properties of the sword. That okay, so this fight is very important. I don't want to hit this weak spot at all. Which is pretty tricky. I'll explain why later. As you can see, that works out very well. Okay, nice. level 4, that's good. Uh, <laughs> you can clap. Thank you, thank you, yeah. Uh, each time you hit the weak spot of the bosses, you lower the level you're gonna get of the armor from them. Which means uh, you lower the maximum energy you will have for that weapon. So it's... Uh, and says that guy gives me HX, which is by far the best one. Uh, getting level level four, is, which is the max, is uh, pretty pretty good. Level three is also okay. Level two is uh, pretty bad. Yeah. So one thing I forgot to mention about the forms are that besides their special ability when you press uh, A, they also have a special ability with the touch screen, or at least a few of them. Harpuya or HX has the ability to air dash and uh, also like you can double air dash right you can dash for like for example from the wall and dash again wait what can't you 
Uh, yeah, you can have, you can yeah. dash from the wall and then dash yeah, in there. Yeah, you essentially have two dashes. Yeah, you have an air dash. Basically, something. In most previous uh, Mega Man games that had the dash, you couldn't usually could not do uh, dash dash kick from the wall and then air dash again. So I have to play this stage again uh, because when I got this armor, uh, the game sent me back to the home base. So I can't, can't get the checkpoint that's at the end of this stage. Uh, so I have to play it again. A zero. Yeah. Should go a little bit smoother, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, with the sword, it's pretty nice. Too bad it's yeah, so you can charge your buster while using the sword, it's pretty nice. Now this is the cool thing they brought from Mega Man Zero, having two kind of weapons like this. Even if like the later X series had like you could use Buster while having another weapon selected, but this is still kind of different the way this works. And as Ginny mentioned earlier, certain attacks doesn't trigger the invulnerability periods of certain other attacks. So if you know that, you can do massive combos. So here is Ajax. You're gonna see a lot of this. This armor. Full of Hapuya. He creates did a great job in this game, I think. Oh yeah, look at that. The whole jumping speed is charged. So, so if, you're a if you can see there, I, I activate the, the overcharge right before I hit those enemies, and then I deactivate it immediately to not waste energy. <laughs> Just pretty hard on the DS. <laughs> yeah, it wastes, it goes out really quick. I recall, right? So here I have to save some people by talking to them. From the burning building? Similar to one of the missions from Zero One, uh, the desert base. Uh, and uh, as in the first mission, some of these are like small girls and won't talk to me if I don't change into human form. Except the last guy, I don't know what, what the last guy's deal is. <laughs> uh, and also, as you can see, it takes forever to change armor, so you want to limit that as much as possible, even if it means doing some section less optimal, like this. And just keep this and damage boost there. This guy should be brave enough to talk to me, but no. The teenage kid. Uh, come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have uh, one daughter from Producer Sin. Hello, it's a people. Hello, Joker. Good luck in your me Mega Booman CX run. Also, shout out to all the Mega Man speedrunners. Hi, Producer. And we also got $5 from Bad Breaks. Yeah. Go go Joka, and also, I'm sorry for trying to pick up Primal up at the wrong airport. <laughs> Hope you can forgive me with a wave from the couch. Ha. Oh. You got no wave, that means it didn't yeah. forgive you. <laughs> okay, so coming up is uh, next boss. Uh, I want level 4 on this guy. Uh, level 2 or 3 are fine for now. Okay, I got it. Okay. That, that's pretty good. That's another small feature that was reused from the Zero series. If yeah. you kill the boss with like a normal sword technique and not a charged one, they actually split or get sliced in different kind of ways. Yeah, uh, that's why I what meant about the combos earlier. <laughs> if you just know what attacks to use. Uh, the quick kill hasn't, isn't actually that hard, but Doing it and still getting level 4 is pretty hard. 
like without accidentally hitting his weak spot. That's why you went with the swag and hit him with your back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the attacks have a really long range behind your back for some reason. Uh, at least the sword ones. It's Harbuya. <laughs> the best form. Yeah, as you see, those are just security guards and they react if you're wearing any form besides the human. I usually tend to mess up that way that was worse than that. Really <laughs> good. Like it's really hard on the DS pad to only hold up or release everything and then only hold up. Oh. And he's actually playing on the fat one, and that D pad is not great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to hold. Uh, you have to hold right until the very last moment. Then you have to dash straight up. So it's uh, pretty tricky. So, F near X or FX uh, ability is strong with bullets. You can also do a special thing with them on the touchscreen, where you can make them go like uh, not straight forward. You can actually make them go fly differently as you shoot them. Getting pre pretty lucky with the drops here. I forgot to mention that you, after you finish a mission, you don't get refills. You only get health refills. So you have to rely solely on weapon drops or weapon energy drops to refill your energy. And some small sequence breaks there, you have to skip parts of the level. Oh, oh. Go away, Mock, please. Go away. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, mashing on DS is amazing. Suicide strap. Yeah. If he didn't pick the life upgrade before, he could possibly have died if he didn't. I think I was still fine. <laughs> uh, that's one of the reasons you had a sub tank to, to mm, do yeah. those kind of strats. So, I actually have, I should have enough energy for the box already, but some health wouldn't hurt. <laughs> health. Zenny or crystals. Okay, well, whatever, we're going for it. You move really slow underwater if you're wearing the wrong armor, which I am. Yeah, the LX or Leviathan form is the best one to use, but you get this after this boss, right? Yeah. Okay, I got it. Nice. Do you see the small girl there? Her weak spot is her head, so not hitting that is pretty tough. Oh, I know. So even though I get the Leviathan now, uh, I don't, won't switch to it for this small part. It's just slower. And plus I need the FX for the next stage. Okay, so I got level 4 on the 3 first, which is really good. If I can get level 4 on this next one, I'm gonna be really happy. This climb is also amazing. Oh, oops. Yeah. Okay. The classic Mega Man tricky jump. Ah, come on. Oh, I got it. Nice. Uh, so this shortcut skips like the whole level. 
uh, you have to actually fight like a mini boss in the normal stage and yeah, save over a minute to take this route. You can do it in the dark though, but that's fine. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> so in these areas, this is where PX or Phantom X comes to play. Really? It has a use? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you get a brighter area and the radar comes to play as well. Oh. But I assume it's not used in the run. So I don't run this, I have not much clue. No, uh, the the PX or the shadow weapon or whatever is really yeah. Really bad. It looks cool. Uh, level nice. three, yeah. Nice. It's very good. So the the only combo you can normally do with uh, LX is a jump slash and a standing slash. <laughs> pretty simple uh, but then when you get both parts you can do the ice dragon which is another attack <laughs> you'll see it once okay so small intermission their attack in the home base under attack so I need to go and save them And uh, here's another instance of not switching to the optimal uh, armor. Having HX here would mean I can just dash up to here, but I have to take the elevator. It's still faster. More mashing. <laughs> Also here I won't switch from uh, FX, which makes this last section a little bit tough, because uh, when you use FX you have to stand still while shooting. Okay. Unless you jump and shoot, but that's kind of... Uh, it's don't do enough damage with just one shot. Here's a little manipulation on this boss. You have to wait for him to appear before you switch weapon. Then he will always appear in the middle. And then you can do that. Puya's special is really good in this game. Especially when you overcharge it too. It lasts longer, right? With the overcharge. Uh, it does more damage. Mm, okay. As far as I know. So, next four robot monsters. Going through the whole city, nothing much to do here. <laughs> Grab some energy here. Another cameo appearance from Rockman Battle and Chase, which is the Mario Kart ripoff Mega Man game. <laughs> Pretty tight uh, dash jumps everywhere. Doesn't get any better. Uh, except this mini boss. This mini boss is pretty fun. Uh, let's just say that HX is really good against mini bosses. They're dead. <laughs> 
just do the combo and they die. Oh, oops. Yeah, so this, uh, you have you actually have to speed run this part because you're chased by a, chased by a lava wall, which you hopefully won't see. Okay, I think I have enough for the boss. <laughs> Looks enough, right? Some damage boost through the lava. All the lava is against a kill, so I <laughs> just make sure I take damage before. <laughs> So basically I don't care that much anymore which level I get on the bosses. Uh, anything level 2 and up is fine. So this is the second uh, like uh, water boss, water type boss, saving the both shadow ones for loss, or whatever you call them, phantom. <laughs> okay, uh, now you can see I'm really low on energy, I really hope for at least some drops here. Never mind. <laughs> That's horrible RNG. Nice. Yay! Something. Okay, that's fine. So as you can see, I, I pretty much want to be either jumping, like rising up or falling down while slashing to not lose that much speed. Okay, so now you can see that you still move really fast underwater with uh, this armor. And you have the amazing ability to like fly. <laughs> or swim, I guess. Which is pretty nice here. Yes. Go here. Smash harder. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, and you can slice. If you have a sword type uh, out, you can slice all the big drops to make it make them split them into like several several small drops of different types. This is a big part RNG part. That's good. That's good. Nope. That, that's the worst one. Or one of the worst ones. One more. Of course not. More fishes. Come on, more fishes. Yeah! <laughs> Pray it's loud. I'd say so. What? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. It should be dead. Yeah. Apparently five hits this time. It's a little bit different. Like, you can do less damage sometimes for no reason. Uh, basically, you can double hit him sometimes. Okay, got him. <laughs> Damn it. Damage boost strats. The real strats. As you can see, also I make a point of like picking up weapon energy where where they are on the stage, just to make it reduce the RNG. And of course, the fire is the best one to use on water bosses. There is actually a 
little bit faster strat on both the water bosses that I'm not using. Uh, you can like punch them with the fire weapon and like weave that into your combo. Uh, but that uses a lot of energy. So I'd, I'd rather just save it. Um. Hmm? What happened? Um, the game feed on the stream froze for a second. Nothing important happened. <laughs> Wait for it. Uh, ow! What the hell? <laughs> it's okay. Get a health refill soon when I turn in the mission. Okay, so now for the two phantom bosses, I guess. <laughs> uh, they're not really strong against anything and they're not weak to anything either, so I'm gonna use the ZX on them while I fight them. That is usually the best place. It, it deals. It yeah, you can do the like biggest combo with it. Set yeah, it. for the massive damage. So all Ma forms also have like set element, as you can see. Like the Le Leviathan form has ice. Harpoia has wind, lightning, wind. <laughs> and uh, Fefnir FX has fire. But PX, I guess Shadow wasn't really counted as an element. So nope. it's not weak or strong towards anything. But it's the same idea as in the Zero games. Only you only have three different elements in the game. Besides the base one you have. Okay. So Coming up is my least favorite area, with lots of bees and shit. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, stop. <laughs> Good save. <laughs> uh, it's not quite yet. This, this area is pretty annoying too, it's just a lot of dashing. Like, don't kill anything here. So many Mega Man Classic references. Oh yeah, wait for the minibus. <laughs> it's the metal amusement park. And guess who's the minibus here? Wait, is that from five? Four. Four, okay. <laughs> Ginormous. Okay, fuck. <laughs> Come on, man. RNG. Uh, basically, you can stun lock him. Okay, you can stun lock him when he appears the first time, but I, I mistimed it a little bit. Okay, so this is my least favorite area because peace. Oh shit! <laughs> Good thing it's not a classic Mega Man game. Also, lots of these cannons that are oh, whoops, split it, split up into like yeah, random pieces. Damage boost. And okay. Uh, the the blimps are on like a global timer from that you enter the area. So if you're fast enough, you can make that cycle, which is pretty nice. Okay. So this boss, this. I don't want him to do his ultimate. Uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, I didn't do it. Uh, and you can hear that when I hit the weak spot. <laughs> When I hit the weak spot, it makes this like chink noise. 
So if I do that, like, I think it's like four times I get level one. Uh, and I did like 20 <laughs> times. <laughs> no. And I think you do like a little bit more damage when you hit it. But yeah. So now I have to backtrack to the horrible area. At least I know where the blimps are gonna be. get like knocked and either grabbed by the claw or fall down into a pit right away. This area is pretty interesting. It has a lot of gimmicks. <laughs> First one has these like destructible blocks. And the second one has these like satellite type things that uh, messes with your controls if you don't disable them by hitting them. Oh, okay, so now I don't. Okay. The red ones uh, disable your weapons and the blue ones reverses your controls. Uh, this one has falling missiles, and if you're fast enough, you can make it through without getting hit by anything. So the pattern is set. It also has the satellite, which is type things. And this one has like. Stuff. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna use Zedex on this boss too. You can kill him just as fast with HX, but I wanna save my energy if I can. It's way easier with HX though, but yeah, I'm gonna try. <clears throat> so this boss is weird. That boss has something like he blows up a giant bomb and he acts as a shield for a small part of the screen. But since Joker killed him so fast, we never saw that. I would I like to see that as a reference to Bright Man. Where he blocks the light. And you can see now where I picked up the life up. I would be dead otherwise. <laughs> so yeah. Allows you to do stress like that. Okay, so now all the robot monsters are done. So To select the bottom one. They made sure. <laughs> no speed running for you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do something later. Yeah, marathon safety of the, these two missions. It's basically two missions, which are my favorite missions, uh, and then the last mission, which is horrible in every way. <laughs> And before the last mission, I'm gonna do a safety marathon thing. I'll explain it later. It will look very weird. Going back to the cave. Okay. 
don't get hit then. The part's too small. Okay, so this is the part where uh, I'm actually gonna use the other screen for something. Gina will explain <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah. As he gets there. Okay, so what I briefly mentioned before is FX special touchscreen ability, which allows them to shoot very awkwardly, yeah, you can but very useful for this fight. Since you can shoot faster from standing on the ground, you can do that, which is a pretty cool thing and very, very useful for this fight, so you don't need to jump. And this is the boss weakness. So if he gets good. If he's nice to you, you can kill him in like one cycle. Nice. That's still, that's still alright. Yep. Now I just need to switch it back. And while I'm in the menu, I just switch to the next weapon too. And another small thing about uh, the FX weapon is that you can yep. switch uh, like the way of the bullets. Like, you, know, you can switch it for each arm. Yeah, so which only means for a speedrun that I have to do it for both arms. <laughs> mm. No. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit. Okay, one more. Stupid small button shoot. <laughs> oh. I see a switch to this one right anyway. What the hell? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> uh, Too strong. That yes, very so. so I'm gonna use attempt to use uh, ZX on this boss because there's a really cool quick kill or oh, cool. You can kill him in two or her in two appearances. But I never get it, but I'm still gonna go for it. Yellow hype. <laughs> nope. Okay. Yeah, she actually has two weaknesses because she switches between two elements each time she appears. So if you wanna like fight her with weakness, you switch back and forth between water and fire. Oh, I mean, which is really slow, obviously. Well, ice because thunder. What well, wouldn't be useful against thunder? Uh. I don't know. Oh, you're back here. Yep. The stage. Not gonna see much of it though. Gonna <laughs> go up. Yeah, this is so stupid. Like, you can't grab this ladder without dashing up. Like that. It's the only thing you need AK for. Like, dashing up one centimeter. Okay, so this oh, this stage gets really intense after a while. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, Especially if you forget where the enemies are. Assaulting the enemy forces, like, uh, while they're on their way. So there are enemies literally everywhere. Okay. Bye bye. I've never seen them fly, so I had no idea they did that. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so this area is fun. I don't want to slow down. Let's just put it like that. 
damage boost, apparently. <laughs> Worked out. And another one of these lovely bosses. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna fight him with uh, ZX. It's actually pretty fast if you get lucky. Okay, never mind. Best luck. Uh, you don't do any damage to the boss when he does that. Okay. So you PB you had 9. Right? Yeah, I had 9 cycles in my PB. It was that like 7. <laughs> you can kill him in 3 with ZX. Still better than PB, let's go. Well worth it. <laughs> Ow, what? Where did that come from? <laughs> so now you have to fight both these bosses at the same time. They are a special duo, to put it that way. Okay, never mind, I don't have to do that. <laughs> okay, so this is the marathon strat I was talking about. You can read donations if you have any now. <laughs> I would love to read donations, except we don't have any, so... Oh, come on, guys. Please give us something to read. And give the doctor some uh, assistance in the health. That's all money you donate, go to the Doctor Without Borders. You will see soon. Actually, this is something that I did not know when I played this game. <laughs> no, I learned that. I actually thought it was worth it when I started running, because you don't have to farm at the end. I got a W tank, which refills all my weapons once. Oh, wow. So they brought that back. <laughs> There's so many references. So to I, that hopefully I won't need to use it. I'm only going to use it if I die on the final boss and don't have any energy left. That's the plan. Final boss hype. Yeah, don't forget what you promised me, Joker. But not on stream. <laughs> oh, I just uh, wanted to see you fight Omega. <laughs> so this is like the nightmare of all RNG stages because yeah, you have to refight all all bosses, and for that you need energy like that. So what I'm doing is basically just switching to whatever weapon and armor I'm going to use on the next two bosses, and I hope that I get energy refills for that weapon. Uh, you actually have like an energy balancer uh, from the go. So meaning that you refill them in a certain order if the one you currently have equipped have full energy. Okay, so I have full energy on this which is really good. I can kill these both these without switching to setups. The one time. <laughs> the blue eyes, white dragons. And you can actually use the ice dragon on the next boss too, but uh, yeah. uh, not faster really, and you waste energy. Yeah, they're really hard with weaknesses. <laughs> <laughs> Basically also, I, I think I mentioned this, but I, I pretty much know what they're gonna do. Uh, they have a different pattern for the refights, but yeah, if you play, play it enough, you learn it. As long as I do the same thing every time. Oh, right. Trying to kill as many enemies as possible to get more drops. Okay, 
Uh, this might be tight. Oh yeah, I hit the weak spot, so I changed her pattern. Uh, yeah, I I have to fight the next one with ZX. It should be fine. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah. So yeah, the the only drawback of hitting the weak spots in the refight is that you change the pattern if you're not used to it. Oh. Still pretty good, okay. used to being able to stab twice in midair and hover <laughs> yeah you can hover too like this yeah it's not very common for a melee game to have hovering uh, unless you're in a right armor alpha scroller high Uh, no. I just reached the door. <laughs> Next one you can do. After these two bosses. Oh, I got level 4. <laughs> <laughs> the swag finish. I won't get level 4 on this guy, it's like impossible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True combo. Her, or his weak spot is like the claws, which is like his entire sprite. <laughs> Good right. luck with that. Okay, donation. Alright, we have 10 dollars from Svenge. Go go Joka with greetings from Skelleftio. We also have a $25 from Lars Yves, he's saying Thanks for providing great entertainment for a good cause Didn't catch much of SGDQ this year, so I was really pleased when I discovered ESA Good luck with all the run And $5 from Badgy saying Awesome speedrun Joker First watching a speedrun event and Joker and Infested Rich have been my favourite to watch Two most fun bosses. Uh, I basically, I actually just want to take as little damage as possible. <laughs> Why do I even say that? Typical <laughs> commentators too. So you can see, I can charge both my weapons. If you haven't noticed until now, and I release them like independent of each other. This is just ultimate, by the way, which is awesome. <laughs> I 
The double charge, oh, yeah. the double weapon charge thing is also something taken back from the Zero series. I love it. It's so useful. Yeah, once you get used to it. Yeah, it's... and with the combo system, it's great. Ultimate on this guy. That's bright. Yeah, yeah, you won't get to see it. Uh, bright man. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. <laughs> That's just. It's super slow. Okay. This part is pretty intense. <laughs> I will actually farm a tiny bit here from for some health drops, but okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. Okay, yeah. this is the troll master. This this guy is incredible at killing you. That was Captain Falcon, so that's why. Falcon Alpha. Look at him. And he's also using a model slash one, that's why. Nice combo. Okay, that went pretty well. Now for the important part. Uh, I won't use HX on the first form because I don't have enough energy. That's Sigma 1. That's so good, that weapon. That's pray for good luck. Same good luck. Oh, really? Time. Oh. No, pretty good. Sub hour game time. That's really ah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> I skipped the ending credits because the ending credits counts into the game time, which is amazing. <laughs> but yeah. That was ZX. Hope you enjoyed it. Went pretty okay. Don't forget to watch the rest of the Mega Man games on this marathon. Yep, coming up tomorrow we have the classic Mega Man lock. That's gonna be amazing too. And our smaller block on Thursday. Yep. And that was Mega Man ZX. Thank you very much for watching this. And uh, please do not leave us now. Please do not, because next up is Metal Gear Solid by Mr. Hazuki. We are, we are a tiny little bit ahead of the schedule. Up by five minutes, but that should be eaten up by the setup time anytime now. So don't plan on this break being all too long. It might just be enough for the odd uh, jump to the bathroom and back. At least that's what we hope it is. Um, in the meantime, I will remind